Jalen, we have news about a future Hall of Famer in the National Basketball Association. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's not about you. Oh. Tim Duncan is officially an assistant coach for the San Antonio Spurs. I love this idea. I want Tim Duncan to be with the Spurs organization for another 50 years. Do you think that Tim Duncan has the potential to be a head coach one day in the I NBA? I do. And like he, you, and I, starting Jalen versus everybody. I'm just saying, he did. Oh, that's right. Great acting that's chops, right. by yes. the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the great thing about a player like Tim Duncan. Playing his entire career with one organization, he's going to have a level of familiarity because that cohesion that he built with Pop is still in place. It's not like he played for multiple coaches. It's not like Pop isn't still there. So I appreciate what Pop said. I basically served as his assistant for 19 years. Now he can serve as mine. And don't be surprised as the Spurs continue to progress over the years that Pop is looking for his predecessor. It does feel that way. And also, one thing about the Spurs network of assistant coaches, they get poached. People want to pick the fruit from that Popovich tree really quick. I already told you, Ime Udoka, I think he's going to mm-hmm. have the chops. His to name be a always head comes up at some point. And so, with the Spurs, I like this so very much because who's a better teacher at doing fundamental things on a basketball floor than Tim Duncan? Than the big fundamental. Than the big fundamental. How about this? Turning over both shoulders, facing up, bank shot. LaMarcus Aldridge also loves that same exact post that he loves. That's one thing I was thinking about. I was like, wait a second. LaMarcus Aldridge posts up in the exact same spot where Tim Duncan posts up. LaMarcus Aldridge also likes to go off the board from about 14 feet just from that exact spot. And there will be people that talk about whether he's vocal enough. It's not about how loud you are. People underestimate about this about players and about young people. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm. And so he's going to be so very invested in everything that they do it's going to matter so much to him that now that level of investment is going to definitely domino effect to all of the players that he gets a chance to influence. This is a great move by the Spurs. So one thing that fans like us always hear but never experience is what a big personality Tim Duncan has. And really, he doesn't give much to the media, but he's really funny behind the scenes. And he's really engaging and, and involved in a big part of the locker room. But but when he's on the floor or when he's talking to the media, we don't see it. How much of that is reality? I think players have a way to turning the switch on and off based on how they want to be viewed publicly. Mm-hmm. And it's a decision that we all make as public figures via social media, via your interactions with the media, and just being flamboyant about where you are and what you do. There are people that you can tell that don't want the spotlight shined on them. Yep. And then you could tell the opposite about certain other individuals. Yeah, like Kawhi Leonard doesn't want it. Jalen Rose does want it. Correct. And for a guy like Tim Duncan, just think about it like this. He's going to be serious about what he has to say like EF Hutton because he's not going to waste words. And so when you're dealing with somebody like that, that's a five-time champion that, by the way, gets to learn from Coach Greg Popovich. What do you consider him amongst great coaches of all time? Um, In the NBA or in any sport? Because either way, he's up there. Correct. He's up there. So now you get a chance to learn from him. You already have your basketball experience. And let me just call nonsense on something that people always say to diminish what players have accomplished in their careers. Oh, he's never been a head coach before. Who has more experience than a player about being game planned against? Sacrificing for tonight's game. Dealing with the success of a victory. Dealing with the turbulence of a loss. All of those level of things, you get a chance become life experience, which I can argue not only is equal to coaching experience, in some instances possibly trumps it. Do you think you would make a better head coach if you went like the Spolstra route, which is like started as a video assistant, focused all about coaching, about how coaches prep for games and spend years and years doing that? Or 
player route, not the ones necessarily better than the other, the player route where you're focused on getting buckets, defending the other team, and getting the W. Which which way do you think is a better path to becoming a successful head coach? I think uh, we've seen people be successful in all aspects. Sure. We've seen pe people with no coaching experience still have a level of success. We've seen players like a Larry Bird who didn't have coaching experience do very well on the mm -hmm. sideline. It's really the individual and if he's able to convey a message that people are going to buy into. That's what coaching professional is all about. Coaching professional is managing egos, understanding the strengths and weaknesses of your roster, and using each person to their maximum ability to perform. That That's well, really what it is. That's probably true in every single professional team environment, and you know, regardless. It's just, it's just understanding the strengths and weaknesses of the team around you, managing egos, and just balancing morale. Because some players need a pat on the back. Other players need a kick in the butt. As a leader, it's your job to find that balance in between both. So I like this for the Spurs. I love this for Tim Duncan. I think it's going to be a real good look. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.